In the last exercise, we learned how to add a background color to our entire table. And we also learned how to modify the background color for individual cells. So if your table doesn't look the same as mine, it's OK. You can still proceed with this exercise. In this exercise, we're going to add a border color to our table. And it's very easy to do. Okay, you can click inside a cell and then click this table tag to highlight our entire table. And in our properties inspector panel, there will there will be a button called border color. If you click that, it opens up a palette. And again, you can choose any color from our palette or you can click this button to get even more colors. But I'm just going to pick a color from this palette and I'll pick red because it will be easier to see. So if I click red, you can see that now the borders of our table have changed color. Now I'm going to click File and click Save. And then I'm going to click this Preview button to see how it looks like in Internet Explorer. So while I'm waiting for it to load up, I already kind of know what's, what the table is going to look like because this is what you get. Okay, you've got a table with different color cells, but if you look carefully, you can even see that there's a red outline along the borders. Okay, I'm going to close the Internet Explorer and go back to our Dreamweaver uh, document. And at this point, we're finished. So you can close and proceed to the next exercise.